Ayalays Ottoman Turkish, Ayalt pronounced EJA let, English, state, also known as Baylor Baylix or Pashalix, were a primary administrative division of the Ottoman Empire. From 1453 to the beginning of the 19th century the Ottoman local government was loosely structured. The empire was at first divided into provinces called Ayalays, presided over by a pasha of three tails feathers borne on a state officer's ceremonial staff. The Grand Vizier was responsible for nominating all the high officers of state, both in the capital and the provinces. Between 1861 and 1866, these ayalays were abolished, and the territory was divided for administrative purposes into vilayes. The ayalays were subdivided into districts called levas or sanjaks, each of which was under the charge of a pasha of one tail, with the title of mira lira, or sanjak bey. These provinces were usually called pashaliks by Europeans. The Pasha was invested with powers of absolute government within his province, being the chief of both the military and financial departments, as well as police and criminal justice. At official functions, the order of precedence was Egypt, Baghdad, Abyssinia, Buda, Anatolia, Marish, and the Kapitan Pasha in Asia and Buda, Egypt, Abyssinia, Baghdad, and Rumelia in Europe, with the remainder arranged according to the chronological order of their conquest. Names The term ayalat is sometimes translated province or governorate. Depending on the rank of the governor, they were also sometimes known as pashaliks governed by a pasha, baylor baliks governed by a bey or baylorbi, and kapudanliks governed by a kapudan. Pashalik or pashalik Turkish, pasalik, is the abstract word derived from pasha, denoting the quality, office or jurisdiction of a pasha or the territory administered by him. In European sources, the word Pashalik generally referred to the Ayalays. The term Ayalet began to be applied to the largest administrative unit of the Ottoman Empire instead of Beglar Bijilik from the 1590s onward, and it continued to be used until 1867. History Murad I instituted the great division of the Sultanate into two Baylorbaliks of Rumelia and Anatolia, in circa 1365. With the eastward expansion of Bayezid's realms in the 1390s, a third islet, Rum Islet, came into existence, with Amasya its chief town. This became the seat of government of Bayezid's youngest son, Mehmed I, and was to remain a residence of princely governors until the 16th century. In 1395, Bayezid I executed the last Shishmanid Tsar of Bulgaria, and annexed his realm to Rumelia Islet. In 1461, Mehmed II expelled the last of the Isfendurid dynasty from Sinop, awarding him lands near Bursa in exchange for his hereditary territory. The Isfendurid principality became a district of Anatolia Islet. In 1468, Karaman Ayalet was established, following the annexation of the formerly independent Principality of Karaman. Mehmed II appointed his son Mustafa as governor of the new Ayalet, with his seat at Konya. The 16th century saw the greatest increase in the number of Ayalets, largely through the conquests of Selim I and Suleiman I, which created the need to incorporate the new territory into the structure of the empire, and partly through the reorganization of existing territory. A list dated 1527 shows eight Ayalays, with Egypt, Damascus, Diyarbakir and Kurdistan added to the original four. The last Ayalet, however, did not survive as an administrative entity. Suleiman's conquests in eastern Turkey, Iraq and Hungary also resulted in the creation of new Ayalays. The former principality of Dulkadir became the Dulkadir Ayalet at some time after its annexation in 1522. After the Iranian campaign of 1533–6, the new Ayalays of Erzurum, Van, Sharazor and Baghdad guarded the frontier with Iran. In 1541 came the creation of Boudin Ayalet from part of the Old Kingdom of Hungary. The Ayalet of the Archipelago was created by Suleiman I especially for Haradine Barbarossa in 1533, by detaching districts from the shores and islands of the Aegean which had previously been part of the Ayalets of Rumelia and Anatolia, and uniting them as an independent islet. In 1580, Bosnia, previously a district of Rumelia, became an islet in its own right, presumably in view of its strategically important position on the border with the Habsburgs. Similar considerations led to the creation of the Kani Islet from the districts adjoining this border fortress, which had fallen to the Ottomans in 1600. 
In the same period, the annexation of the Rumelian districts on the Lower Danube and the Black Sea coast, and their addition to territories between the Danube and the Dniepr along the Black Sea, created the Silistra Islet. At the same time, on the southeastern shore of the Black Sea, Trebizond Islet came into being. The purpose of this reorganization, and especially the creation of the islet of Ozi was presumably to improve the defences of the Black Sea ports against the Cossacks. By 1609, according to the list of Ain Ali, there were 32 islets. Some of these, such as Tripoli, Cyprus or Tunis, were the spoils of conquest. Others, however, were the products of administrative division. In 1795, the government launched a major reorganization of the provincial administration, with a law decreeing that there would be 28 provinces, each to be governed by a visor. These were Adana, Aleppo, Anatolia, Baghdad, Basra, Bosnia, Childer, Crete, Damascus, Diyarbakir, Egypt, Erzurum, Habish, Karaman, Kars, Dulkadir, the Archipelago, Morea, Mosul, Raqqa, Rumelia, Seda, Sharazor, Silistra, Shivas, Trebizond, Tripoli, Van. In practice, however, central control remained weak, and Baylorbeus continued to rule some provinces, instead of visors. <laughs> <laughs> Government The Beglerbegiliks where the Timar system was not applied, such as Abyssinia, Algiers, Egypt, Baghdad, Basra and Lhasa, were more autonomous than the others. Instead of collecting provincial revenues through Sipahis, the Beglerbegi transferred fixed annual sums to Istanbul, known as the Saliani. By 1500, the four central islets of the empire, Rumelia, Anatolia, Rum, and Karaman, were under direct rule. While Lachia, Moldavia, and the Khanate of the Crimea, territories which Mehmed II had brought under his suzerainty, remained in the control of native dynasties tributary to the Sultan. So, too, did the Kingdom of Hungary after the Battle of Mohacs in 1526. Topic <inaudible> Map. Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> List. From the mid 14th century until the late 16th century, only one new Balerbalik was established. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Disappeared before 1609. The islets that existed before 1609 but disappeared include the following. Topic in 1609 conquests of Selim I and Suleiman I in the 16th century required an increase in administrative units. By the end of the latter half of the century there were as many as 42 islets, as the Balerbalics came to be known. The chart below shows the administrative situation as of 1609. Sources, Colin Imber. The Ottoman Empire, 1300–1650, The Structure of Power, Houndmills, Basingstoke, Hampshire, UK, Palgrave Macmillan, 2002, Halil Analchik. The Ottoman Empire, The Classical Age 1300–1600. Trans. Norman Itzkowitz and Colin Imber, London, Weidenfeld and Nicholson, 1973, Donald Edgar Pitcher. An Historical Geography of the Ottoman Empire Leiden, Netherlands, E. J. Brill, 1972. <laughs> <laughs> Established 1609–1683 Established 1683–1864 Topic Maps Topic See also Subdivisions of the Ottoman Empire